Enrique Cabrera. I'm Enrique Cabrera. I'm a fluid mechanics professor in engineering at the Universitat Politecnica de Valencia. Uh, I am also the senior vice president of the International Water Association, which is the, the largest global organization uh, with uh, water professionals. And I have a hydraulics background, but I've mainly worked around performance assessment, benchmarking, management of water services, and, and also the regulation. The reason I joined KTU is because I believe that digital water is one of the greatest changes that have taken place in the last 100 years that are able to shape the way the water services are actually managed. It has the potential to actually change uh, a business which is by nature very uh, slow to, to take changes. And, and the fact is that KTUM, because it's open, it has an accessible model, I think it has the potential to, to bring this digital revolution to the most distant corners of the planet. And also that way we can make it available to water professionals and to population that would otherwise would have no chance to actually implement this technology or these changes. I think that this is really exciting and, and I'm also excited to be part of it. I think there are three key dimensions on, on how water utilities can be successful when they go uh, through digital transformation. I, I think that, and, and these are in increasing importance. First, I think it's important to have the adequate tools. There are many options out there and, and some are better than others. Uh, I think they need to be comprehensive and integrated, making sure that they can cover all areas of the business. They need to be user friendly which are simple to use, but powerful enough in their uh, analytical capabilities. Uh, above all, I think they need to provide the adequate information to make the right decisions. In the end, this is what really makes the change, being able to make the right calls and the right decisions. And they have to allow for an adequate implementation. They have to be easy to bring in into the utility. Uh, but the best tool cannot work if we don't have uh, the, the right people using it. I think that there's the need for adequate training, uh, not just about the tools or the technology, but also about an integral vision of the services uh, uh, and, and of the capabilities of the tools. I think we need capacity building uh, so the, the technical people of the utilities can embrace the possibilities and, and eventually transform the way the utilities manage. Finally, and even more important than these two, I think that there's the we, we need willingness to embrace change. The water industry is very slow to adapt changes and true change requires um, that, that really there is a willingness to do things in a different way. The opportunities and the, and the capabilities of these systems are tremendous, but uh, you know, utility managers need to be ready to change some fundamental things that they do and do them in a different way. I think it's difficult to answer the, the question about the, the most important trends and challenges in a two, three year period, because we're talking about a very slow moving industry, right? But if I had to answer that, I think that providing adequate answer to, to response, uh, adequate response to extreme events, I think it's, it's very important because they're uh, becoming more and more severe in a very short time, amount of time. We, we know that. I think that it is critical now in many parts of the world to have an adequate management of the assets, and we don't have that. And I think that it is becoming critical as well for many for many utilities to actually making the right choices around digital water solutions, which is something many of them are doing, uh, but but sometimes not with the right uh, uh, with the right information or, or options considered. On the long term, of course, it's climate and population changes that is going to drive uh, this sector.